Hello, XCOM. Hey, Asaflux, how are you? I'm very good. What about you? I'm good. They uh, tried to sneak this one in on me, but I was around and ready, I guess, so here yeah. I am. All right. This game's really important for both teams. I sense a little bit of sarcasm, but it's actually more important than you may think. Let me. Uh, no, give, it's. Yeah, yeah. Let me give the introduction. So, we are here for the NBFL game of the week between the Jacksonville Jordals, coached by MRT, and the Houston Triants, coached by Bazakistine. We got Wood Elves, we got High Elves, and. Uh, one of these two teams got beat to absolute shit in the season opener by our wonderful friend Astaflix here. Hello. But they've recovered a little bit. They are sitting at a 1-1-2 one, one and two record, considering that they've taken 21 casualties in four games. I think half of those were in the opener. <laughs> <laughs> but MRT is still fighting back, clawing his way up, I suppose. But in his way this time, we've got Baz and his new Wood Elves sitting at 2-2-0. Two, two and o. Leading the division, Leading if the they division win. If they win, I've actually started a spoiler alert fluff piece for kind of a standings through five weeks little Ooh. fluff article. I just I got bored. I was like, screw it, I can type this up in yeah. about thirty minutes. But we've got a couple more games to go, and uh, this is one. All of right, them. So being the coach of the Dolts and having both of those teams as legit like rivals for the division and everything, right? I, for one, hope to God that they either tie or Bazak loses. Hmm. But if Bazak wins, strangely enough, that also puts me in a situation where I'm likely to get a wild card because Mr. T's not going to be in the picture. It's really early to be doing like playoff projections, but I, I understand your thinking. You're sitting at 3-1-1. Yeah. One one. Everything's good. You've got cattle this week. I've already predicted you to win, so that's like guaranteed done. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And then you have this Houston team round seven, so that should be a hell of a game. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's a little early. Teams with one win or two wins certainly aren't out of it yet. Hell, a team with zero wins outside of New Squidling probably still has a chance to. <laughs> We gotta talk about new squiggling being oh oh and five. I I knew you like that one. Um, it's so good. I really thought the rat game would be the the remedy he needed, and it turned out not to be. Man, did you watch it too? I like watched. That was... I watched early, and then I I don't know where I cut out, but I, <laughs> I wanted to do something else. Just the fact that the rats lost the ball on turn one, and he had the ball. And he's still lost. Like, the rat snaked on turn one to give him the ball. Hmm. He basically received twice, yet he still lost. I, did, I didn't I did mind his strategy on his defensive setup where he literally put a column or just a wall, <laughs> the great wall of orc on column 10 yeah. and forced Rel to make a bunch of die rolls to try to get through there. And if he did, his gutter would be sitting near the end zone because he didn't use the one-turn gutter. And then JR would just walk over there in two turns and force him to score, and then he'd have most of the half to score. Instead, like you said, Rel snakes, JR gets the ball, but then Rel steals it back without using the wizard, and then uses the wizard later, I'm assuming, because I was watching that game and he had a chance to zap. Oh, near... he fell the entire wizard. Oh, and he still ended up winning 2-1. to one. Okay, he used a fireball on three orcs. Right. It didn't work, uh -huh. but JR set up in such a way that a three plus, three plus two dice was available on the ball. Mm -hmm. The two die failed, and he still lost the ball afterwards. <laughs> like, this was a comedy of error. Like, wizard failed, snakes on turn one, Rel must have been pulling out his hair. And he, but he but still he won out the like, game, yeah. He, he was up 2-0, with three turns left. Hmm. Like, he gave JR the last score. Okay. Or, yeah. Alright, we got a blitz like... on the ball. Or not the ball, sorry. But a exposed catcher, and he is knocked out early. So it's a good play yeah, by it's, Baz. It's that catcher, which I niggled Indeed. in the season opener. <laughs> Indeed you did. Is that his draft pick, or is that somebody? Yeah, that's yeah it's his draft pick. Poor guy. He's like, oh, I finally made it to the pros. This is going to be great. I'm First playing game. some new team. I'm on a team that's constantly, you know, deep in the playoffs. And then just... <laughs> All right. 
And Baz taking the both down there, not using a reroll on some random ass lineman he's never gonna yeah. care about. Man, the tree is pretty bad in this matchup, I will say that. Yeah, he opened the first turn with a three die block and couldn't take down J. Rob Morgan, not that many people can take him down for good. That's a guy who just keeps getting up yeah. despite all the injuries. That's a good stun there though by J. Rob. Well, this is where I think the bloat of Mr. T's team really comes in to hurt him. Like, for example, when you look at a player like, uh, I don't know, uh, Mish Jake Bennett 3, which is block tackle dauntless MA7, mm -hmm. that's a really cool player. But instead of that, if you have a DP, you can potentially just remove like the War Dancer. True, but having a tackle dauntless guy like that's very helpful against all the strength teams you generally see oh, yeah. in the playoffs. So, and it's especially good against one team in particular, which I think is the New York Rex. Well, doesn't look like they're making the playoffs either. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> they're yeah. one they're of the... three. Okay, Super Bowl champion, the other guy who's like always in the Super Bowl and always loses, Menno, who somehow never has won a Super Bowl. Like, all those teams which we thought were going to be, like, scary, basically only Menno's team, and even then... I was going like, to say, they're 3-2-0. They're oh. I mean, let's not write them off just yet. I think he's doing pretty good. Yeah, but, like, you know... He hasn't he, been he, dominant, he, sh say. he should have lost to Nico, but that's something we'll say often this season. Uh, I mean, Nico's, like, 0-3-2 or something, but he's giving people some tight games. It's just hey. not going his way. <laughs> No, no, no. Nico oh. didn't... Ooh. Oh, Ooh. this is what we thought uh, Rel could have done potentially oh, last shit. night. I'm going to give that a cheer. We see the Zap spell used early. Oh, yeah. All the High Elves, nowhere near the ball. Did MRT forget about it? Did he just bait... Did he just hope, like, the 33% <laughs> That's a strange chance... bait. <laughs> yeah, did, did the 33% chance just, like... I don't know. No, I mean, I, the stick, yeah, yeah. Well, I was thinking from his perspective, like, there's okay, a 33% yeah, yeah, yeah. chance, like, I just, you know, nothing right. happens. Um, I tried the same thing against Gark, actually, when I played him, and it didn't work, unfortunately, but I ended up pulling that one out. But the same thing I, is, you just have the one guy back, you zap him, and then you rush your guys forward, and yeah. you know, MRT's out of position. I mean, how is MRT going to reach the ball? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. I'm gonna jump in here. That had he just had to forget about that. Yeah. Well, okay. It's MRT. He plays with fire sometimes. And sometimes yeah. when you play with fire, you get burned. Or in this <laughs> case, zapped. Anyhow, what I wanted to say is Nico against MRT mm -hmm. didn't put the ball in the end zone. Like. Oh right, I remember you told me about that. Like, he, he didn't walk the ball in the end zone for a touchdown, so he ended up tying. I was kind of mad about that. <laughs> Especially since MRT's in your division, yeah, I can it, imagine. He's my division, and he's a pretty strong rival, right? And then you watch a team just not score, and you're like, what? He's <laughs> like, come on. Uh, MRT doesn't need any help? Exactly. He made the... The Super Bowl, like, how many times? Three? Three in a row. It was pretty close to making it four. I think he ended up in the divisional yeah. round and fell. So, so, yeah, he's a strong coach and with a strong team, right? Right. Th don't give him freebies like that. <laughs> yeah, just try to score on him. <laughs> yeah, it's three points that, by all accounts, he should have no rights to. But, right. you know. All right. There's a foul on the ward answer, but nothing going there. Although, argue the call does work. We'll see what uh, Baz can do here. Maybe takes out Derek Bortles along the way to the touchdown? Hopefully. I mean, I think if you're Bazak, you stall here, actually. If you can, for sure. I mean, you have a strength 5 ward answer, or strength 4. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's really good. Hey, he's out. All right, Derek Bortles out for the game. I think you, zaps. I think you pick it up, but maybe not with him. Eldro, that's a good gaze. J. Ross. Oh, he's gonna score now, I think, because mm -hmm. it's really dangerous to stall with this configuration. Or maybe not. 
maybe he just dodges Miss Catcher's out. And... Well, they're both marked by tackle, but you know, just just roll a two or. or <clears throat> Mr. T is pretty tricky too. Like he's got a wrestle leap tackle guy. Yeah, he's got a. Yeah, he's weird course. team, and Baz has a score, so it is now one to zero. Fastest quarter of a game I've seen in my life. Thirteen minutes. Wow. <laughs> All right. But uh, the wizard's gone. MRT just you know he's only got one guy badly hurt, so he's still definitely in a good position here. He just has to you know, do the thing he normally does. Uh, magic and or bullshit, depending on how much you're rooting for him. Exactly. All right, any other games or teams we need to talk about? There's still two round five games in the AFC West, NFC South showdown. Las True. Vegas, Sinners, San Diego Chompers. I'd love to catch that one, but I haven't heard from either coach. And uh, <laughs> the Carolina Reapers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> poor, poor, poor Klaz. Other than the fact that he's you know winless, the most telling stat is he is 17 casualties against and one casualty for. As a necromantic also, team, that's oh, that's bad. Also, for a team that had Herger had and replaced him with another block dodge plus strength, that guy got permed yep. last game. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Carolina is just uh, cursed or something. Yeah, I mean, hey, I said it before. I'll say it. Say it again. Herger was not the right pick for this team, because otherwise it would have fallen to me. <laughs> that would have been a hell of a vampire. But you got, I, uh, yeah, you got a what was his name? What was your Brooks the Stampede? That was a hell of a player too. Yeah, but my team. It, it was either my team, it was either me, a combination of both, but I, you know, I was cursed. Well, do you think taking Herger would have, like, like nullified the two curses Hell together? No. Or it would have magnified it? <laughs> it would have magnified it, because <laughs> I would have been, I would have had so much TV, but no, like, no skills to stop me from just, like, rolling ones all the time. Right. Which apparently is the weakness of vampires. Yeah, I mean, hey, they're like elves, except they remove their own players. Yeah. No, I'm going to show you chaos. I'm going to remove my guys. All right. If you're Mr. T, mm -hmm. would you have stuck the Dauntless guy on the LOS and tried to block down the tree? No, I mean, really, you should be just avoiding the tree. We've Yeah, just, the tree's like just horrible. Uh, I was playing Kazarik last night and he did me a solid by fouling the croxagore like two to three times <laughs> Luck luckily he didn't remove him his five fouls i don't think got a single remove i was very fortunate in that respect but uh you know when you're fouling the okay Ooh. that's a good hit but uh yeah, i think i think david johnson's Ooh. yep he's gone no i do no he aboed it just failed oh he did he had an extra apo okay uh <laughs> well <laughs> oh well you know blood bowl doctors exactly but no when you're using resources to deal with the big guy instead of the squishier guys you're doing that team a favor in general man so. tell that to my opponents my yeti oh he has, has like... been beaten to shit all season <laughs> <laughs> i watched that poor guy <laughs> yeah so he's four games in no Kaz, and he missed one game already yeah like just guys love to hurt my Yeti for some reason. Well, he is only AV8, so they're probably like in their heads like, okay, I can take that guy down much easier than I can take <laughs> down this tree that's AV10. And yeah, true. But like, come on, guys. I'm Norse. Like, the Yeti, if you're an elf team, the Yeti doesn't matter. Yeah, just ignore him. Speaking of that, I lost both my Blitzer. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, oh no, his team's <laughs> starting to fall apart. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to fall apart as in I lost... Two of my five draft picks, but so we'll see. Wait, two of my four. Wait, two of my five. Five, yeah. You have two x pain and three regular. Yeah, I forgot that my block mighty blow tree was worth a pick. Yeah. It's no troll, but yeah. Oh, come on. Who, who calls it a snow troll? Yeti, I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever, man. 
It's the same thing. They're both kind of bad. <laughs> They're not great, but it's fun. Oh, yeah. Like, some games, especially if you're Arturos, they can pop off. <laughs> some oh, other yeah. games, no. Yeah, they just end up on his butt the entire time. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time I was playing Sutherland's in the NCBB with my Lizards, and he had a really good Norse team. I was up a bunch of TV, so he induced some other strength five star player for Norse. And so he had the Yeti, the two Ulf and whatevers, and the strength five star, and he just bashed me like oh, they yeah. just did to Malik Harris in there. And it was, uh, <laughs> it was a tough go, and I, I got beat in that game. So Norse, uh, you know, sometimes they, they do what they need to do, and I'm hoping uh, you do that against Meno whenever you play him this round. Well, I'm going to have lots of bribes. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Spoiler alert, yeah. Yeah. I've taken bribes every game with uh, a dubious success, especially against Stone. He yeah. sure showed me how to that roll ones. Game, that game didn't go to play. <laughs> that game was... I had to get a, a little bit of my vampire blood out of me, you know? <laughs> get it out the system early, yeah. Yeah. And well, losing to Stem is is respectable. Yeah, I mean that's he's not a good a, coach, that's not you know. Crime. Oh god, MRT! <laughs> bad dice here. What the here. fuck is MRT doing? He's not rolling well, that's for sure. Granted, he started his turn blocking. Yeah, he rerolled the it. Lino, so he had to reroll that one. But you didn't have to start your turn with that block. So when you end up with double skulls there, it's uh, unfortunate, but something that could have been avoided. Karmic Justice. Uh, oh, well, that doesn't know. exist in Blood Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen so many bad plays over the years that just don't get oh. punished. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, Although Baz just threw a block without block, so... Yeah, yeah you know. It happens. Stan Ooh. Jones with the long-distance blitz, and now there's uh, not anybody in scoring range. Yeah, and, but, you know, it's still... He has two turns to score. Right, but it looked like he was going to go for it last turn. Not that you wanted to, but <laughs> yeah, you also have confusing. Wood Elves as your opponent, so they can probably one turn relatively easily, although MRT does have a butt-ton of sidestep for some reason. Yeah, I don't think that Baz is going for the uh, one-turn idea, because, you know, I've talked to him a little bit, and we've discussed how, like... It's not impossible to one turn against sidestep, right? But it requires a lot more planning, and the success rate is like you know razor thin. Yeah, but there's really not a downside to doing it if there is just the one turn left. Oh, right? for sure. I mean, you know, if you hit it, you hit it. Yeah. Like it's like throwing the hail mary pass. If you hit it, you hit it. Yeah. If you don't, your opponent laughs at you. Yeah, and they do that against me most of the time anyway. So you know, no big, no big deal. Yeah. Okay, is Baz going to foul? Like, what's happening here? I think he's just containing, because as a relatively new team, he doesn't have a ton of tackle. Not that MRT has a lot of dodge, but True. he's going to contain those guys. Oh. No one's in scoring range. Yeah, speaking of having not a lot of tackle, I have one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to be rough. But you have Frenzy, so you just, you know, just... Exactly, roll, just roll pals. Yeah. I'm a little Ooh. disappointed that we're not getting the surf attempt here. I know it's probably not good, and that was a very Ooh. nice injury. Yeah, that's like far from me to count Bazak as you know being in a poor position or anything like that. But if he continues losing catchers, Wood Elves aren't as good <laughs> without catchers. Perhaps, although the mighty lineman might. Uh... He's like the hidden gem of Blood Bowl. A Wood Elf lineman is just seen as cannon fodder, but he's still like the ideal player for almost every Blood Bowl roster. He's 7 movement, 4 agility, strength 3, gets dodged relatively early in his career usually. I mean, he's he's a better oh, scoring yeah. threat than Beastmen and oh, yeah. Blitzers and all those other ass players. The only thing Beastmen that I would ass say... Players, but yeah. I mean, just... Beastmen are kind of... Like, the beastmen who get skills are very good. The beastmen who don't are really bad. <laughs> he gets sacrificed to corn pretty early on. Oh, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, it's they're basically uh, more expensive human linemen True. when they don't get skills. And a human lineman's the best player in Blood Bowl. 
Don't, yeah. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Yeah, apart from like, you know, you know. Ward answers all, and bull centaurs and all the positional <laughs> in the world. <laughs> but for the cost, Speak? obviously, he's clearly sure. the greatest pretty good. player ever. We can get a leap Speaking here. of uh, terrible trade-offs, the Minnesota Many Men, the Old World Alliance. Failed leap there? That was... Why would you leap? You can just dodge out of the tree. Right? Well, I think there's so many people there that you don't have dodge, so... I mean, a 3 plus... Oh, three. he doesn't have dodge, right? right? My bad. Yeah, you're good. That's good knock Why does there. he not take dodge? Because um, he has 6 free rolls And he only puts okay. dodge on the super important players like the Blitzers and the really okay. good catchers that you killed off earlier this year, I guess. <laughs> now that, uh, that's a bit that's problematic. A... He needed to take that guy down because now he's yeah. in scoring. Well, he's still in scoring range, but now he's even closer. Although a gaze here could be monumental. So now well, it's tough. It was going to be tough, the, you know, regardless. Mm -hmm. But as long as you don't give up another score... I think you're fine. <laughs> also, please, please kill that player. Well, it's a knockout. Okay. Um, I'm a little confused why he didn't GFI again with Mr. Darren Fells to tag the thrower. Because my idea here is you blitz Eldrill and then dodge out into the end zone, but then you would hand off to the thrower. God, MRT. He's <laughs> not making anything today. What? Oh. Can he sidestep if he's gazed? Oh, okay. He's not going to. Uh, also, yes. The answer is yes. Interesting. He's going to fail the GF. No, he's not going to fail the GF. Why would okay. he go there? Uh... Oh, for pass block. True. Although he can still get in range, most likely. Yeah, pass block still fucks him. We'll see if Eldrill can come through here. We're going to get a handoff to that guy who doesn't Oh, that's through. really, really bad. Remember when he had a better thrower? Yeah, well, but, you know. Somebody got him. Um, yeah. <laughs> wait, somebody. somebody. Not me. Or, oh, or that's not. right. Derek Bortles is the better thrower. He got zapped and badly hurt. That's what happened. Okay. Yep. Granted, any high elf thrower would have failed the... No, oh, when you roll a Catch, one, you yeah. Roll a one. Now Baz is gonna go for the the snake score. Well, yeah. I mean, you know. Although he's gonna fail his own GFI, and makes it with that. So now All you right. just dodge around, pick it up, do a little passy pass, do a little catchy catch. All right, that's what elf play one hundred and one. All just, right. So, uh, Bazak's going to be leading the division <laughs> by three points, which is all right. So he's going to be, you know, assuming this holds the form and you didn't just jinx him, he's yeah, going to be 3-2-0. Three, two. Three, two, and oh, yes. And you're going to be 3-1-1. One, and one. Is pretty close. But he's facing the Glams next round, and if the Glams did, or do to him what they did to you... Houston will get hell away. <laughs> and then it comes down to you versus him in round seven for the Well yeah, that's half... gonna be a gigantic game. Yeah, for the halfway point lead in the division. But still. Which I you know. We we hand out participation trophies here. Exactly. I mean he's he's a really good coach with a team I really don't like facing. But, you know, it's Norse against Wood Elves. It's always explosive. Hey, yeah, one way or another. Either they're running around, running in circles and getting touchdowns, or you're just punching them and all this other fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. like, that's all, also the thing which uh, motivated me to play Norse in NBFL. Mm -hmm. I've played a lot of high-TV Norse against a lot of really strong coaches. Right. And... What kills me is, like, the humans. It's the dwarves. It's the orcs, but not too much. It's, right. like, it's teams you don't really see in the NBFL because they're bad against, the you know, the meta. Mm -hmm. But I'll play Norse against claw teams every day. Like, give me the Nurgles. Give me the chaos. Yeah, it's interesting. As 
Corn, for example, like I didn't fear those matchups a ton. I mean, against the strength four teams, it wasn't easy. I don't know. It's uh, those teams aren't used to being punched in the mouth, and if you can get the the jump on them, oh works, for sure, it, it works out sometimes. Like you know, bash teams rely on. Okay, the reason bash teams are really good is because when you're against no skill linos, like you know, fresh Gaven line rats, mm -hmm. you're gonna be removing them a lot. Oh, yeah. But when you're against like block fend, like Norse linemen, like, those get annoying really quick. Oh yeah. So that's basically what I'm banking on and I'm praying to all the gods that my team doesn't, you know, implode and not exist anymore. Yeah. But then again, the team's three players, so... It's easier to protect that way, right? Exactly. Man, if if he goes up 3-0, uh, you know, that's going to be difficult for T to come back. And by difficult, I mean difficult. Yeah, but it's still MRT and it's still high elves. Yeah, but 3-0! <laughs> I don't know. I've seen T pull off some stuff. And unless you double column here, I'm not sure how you're gonna... See, I don't know. I think that's one of T's biggest weaknesses as a player and as a coach. He... You know, I'm talking about that a lot when I criticize JR, but the idea that you need to be hitting with your perfect killer every turn. Mm -hmm. Hitting Eldrill with J-Rob here, like Doesn't what? really do a whole lot for you, right? He, yeah, like, well, what? Uh, he's going to be blitzing that catcher, and he's going to be running it, like, in. Yeah, unless you could have, like, wiggled your way behind them and marked the catcher from behind. I mean, that yeah, would have been like, fine, but that's not really how it turned out. And it's really unlikely to turn out that way, because, you know... You need to be hitting like lots of dice. I was gonna say he's just about to leave the guy open up top, although he did just mark him. Oh, he's playing the uh, Daka. He's gonna. He's, I think he's gonna go backwards and play it slow. Yeah. And he's got no reason to push. I still would have. You know, I'm not as good of a coach as Bazak, so let me get this out of the way. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that Baz isn't playing way better than I would. Right. Well, but I still would have scored. Like, come on, it's 3-0. You can relax after this. Have a little martini. Like, you know. <laughs> it's not too early for that. Actually, it's 5 o'clock here, so that would have been fine. Okay, it's six oh, shit. It's 6 o'clock here. Oh, wait. It's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I, Don't worry about it. I thought my game with Meno was like... Right now. Oh, was, your game's tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, um, my game's tomorrow, 6 p.m., so I was getting kind of scared. 6 p.m. Eastern? EST, 5 p.m. Central. We're getting a foul. And we're getting tossed. But we argue successfully. The second time, this this ref... Uh, he's Very op permissive. He's open Very to suggestions, for sure. Yeah. And yeah, no stun's interesting. I mean... Yeah, no stun's really bad. Jaquil cannot score. But he could sack the ball and mess things up, I guess? Although, what? we're getting a blitz on that guy instead. What? MRT's trying to take out all the speed and just leave the relatively slow Wood Elves on the field. I guess? Excuse me? <laughs> what? I mean, You're down to touchdowns, you can't be playing it slow. What? I mean, maybe he just realized even if you blitz the ball, you have no way to get to it, and it's probably not that helpful. Man, you, you pick up with the uh, Strength 4 catcher, and then you pray that, you know, he rolls pushes. Yeah, I mean, good. Because if he rolls pushes, then he's fucked, right? Then you just leap out and score. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the better play, and marking the tree is... <laughs> what? He, <doesn't, laughs> he really doesn't like Eldrill. Yeah, what? You're not going to win this game by attrition, T. It's the second half. <laughs> <laughs> I love how fast this game is played. Uh, Jaquel does not and falls on his face. See, that's why you take dodge. And then gets cancelled by tackle, but you know. True. You know. 
But at least you have the option. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to find fault with a player who's movement nine, strength four, lead tackle wrestle. That's a hell of a defensive yeah. piece, but interesting Pass? going with the dodge instead of just like a blitz on the guy. I mean, he has been sidestep, but passes to the war dancer. That's the weakest pass I've ever seen in my entire life. Just kind of like shovels it to that guy, yeah. Then you wiggle the war dancer oh. down. T's vacated yeah. the entire top of the field. So, I mean, you don't even need to block that guy. You can just dodge. And... Yeah, that's kind of bad. But it's all right. Yeah, man. But it's... I, I would keep that player marking the other lino. But, you know, never. Right, but he has Dodd, so he'll probably just get over there, so. At this point, I'm banking on, you know, you gotta roll a snake for me to, you know, have a chance in this game. Because, what? Yeah, if Bez takes all four turns to score, or, or more, I mean, MRT's really, uh... He's gonna run out of turns. Yeah. All right. Who predicted the three zero for Baz? We're cashing out. <laughs> uh, let me pull up the predictions because I don't remember. I don't. I'm pretty sure I didn't pick Baz to win this. I think I picked a tie, is my guess. But let me find that link. It's pinned. Yeah, three one for Aoi. No. Yeah. I yeah, Aoi did. predicted. Well, yeah. I remember that now. All right. So week. This is a week five game. Yeah. Yes. So where am I looking? Charles. Yep. Owie picked one to three. Menno picked Houston to win. I picked a tie. Uber picked a tie. I would never have picked a tie against MRT because his opponent's just not going to score. Well, throwback. Apparently. I'm still mad about that. Like, come on, Nico, man, please. You tie with me. Because I roll like a one in my offense twice, mm -hmm. and then you don't score against T, so I'm, I'm mad. Hey, congrats, you killed Eldril. And yeah, man, you you've done it. it <laughs> you've... That was his that was his goal all game. Now Houston's a doom for the rest of the season without Eldril. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you just, you know, like, just, hey, congrats, you killed Eldril. You, you take the L, yeah. Yeah, now, now you lose the game. It's about sending a message. He said, yeah, exactly. Malik Harrison, wait, who's, no, Stan Jones and Corey Coleman, that's you, next game, when it matters. <laughs> when it's not me who's playing you. <laughs> no, the next time these two teams play, when uh, MRT takes okay, it seriously. Okay, that was stupid GFI. Yeah, I'm not sure he needed to do that so early, but... Speaking of horrible, disgusting, very not good, JR just joined the game as a spectator. Oh, don't be mean. He's 0-0-5! Zero, zero <laughs> okay, that's... He's, he has a worse record than the Super Bowl champ. Wait, that's not a... Oh. He, he's having a rough season. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rough season, huh? Indeed. It's right. such a, a lovely thing to witness because he <laughs> he made the playoffs with rookie human. Then he was like, nah, fam, I want to go back to my 2,800 orcs. And we were like, why? You just play your humans, you, you, you know. They were doing fine. I mean, the team was starting to break down a little bit, but, I mean, that happens. What else do we have going on around the league? Cincinnati and Wichington. I would say that's a huge game, but Wichington yeah. was... Or sorry, Cincinnati was so beat up, they're missing like four players for this game, including several good ones. So I'm not sure if he's going to have the tools to deal with Gark. I mean... Uh, hey. East and North is all done. Round five is done there. Yep, round five is mostly wrapped up. Oh yeah, speaking of a team that made me eat my words, the Cleveland Bedlams, which I basically said your team's trash and you're never going to win, they made the playoffs. And then they lost in round one and they're having a terrible season, but you know, they sure showed me. They won in round one against Cincinnati, but then lost to oh, yeah, the true, Rex, true. probably? Or him, I think he to, lost to, to MRT. Team. He lost MRT, which isn't a shame, but... 
Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of is after this season, huh? Well, that was last season when we thought MRT was going to go to his fourth straight Super Bowl. But uh, no, Cleveland, they've got a tough road ahead of them. They're 1-1-3. One, one, they face full of Selfia this week, who's also a team that's struggling a bit. And then Cleveland wraps up against, oh, me in round seven, so. Oh, God. What, what are you going to do against Cleveland? I don't know. Hopefully the same thing I've done to everyone so far <laughs> With this your season. unbeaten team. Yeah. <clears throat> it's been a fortunate season so far, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> I've bet against you every step of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Man, I saw your round one game, and I was like, nah, this man is cooked. He is done. And then you just kept winning, and you have a better record than me. Very yeah. long, but... I mean, I've, I've certainly got a better handle on the team, and a, like a 2,800 Dwarf team was not a good learning oh, yeah, for game sure. of the season. For sure. But uh, it's, it's gone pretty well, so I can't complain. Yeah. Man, so many teams which we thought were like perennial playoff contenders have been having a really rough oh, season. Yeah, this, this is the season of like anti-predictions. Like everything we thought we knew for the most part, wrong. Yeah. Everybody, we poo pooed. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and the the consistent part of the matter, class is at the bottom of the league. Oh. Hey, you gotta be mean to some of them sometimes, otherwise they get cocky, right? Right, like MRT not protecting the ball here. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like, what am I watching? I mean, that guy was pretty well covered and by a tackler, so it wasn't super likely, but... Bass must be laughing his ass off. He's he's put his entire team in the back, <laughs> and he, he stole the ball with two players, he said, essentially. He said, rookies, go, go get you some. Uh, and T wrestled that? You take them both down there. And you end the turn, I suppose, right? No, oh, well. I mean, that's a guy with dodge, and you don't have. I mean, can J. Rock get there? Blitz. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, and he has a double GFI. Why is he dodging with that thrower? T, he, what are you doing? He was creating a path for this guy. Oh. Which almost that's didn't fair. work out. <laughs> Yeah, very. <laughs> if you don't fail the pickup, yeah, like man. really, don't fail the pickup. Oh, oh he no, failed pick he up. failed the pickup. <laughs> three plus, two plus, three plus, two plus. That's if you don't blitz. Wow! And he blitzes against the pal, and then he has dodge, although he's marked by tackle. Can that no, guy's you, one, two, three? I'd say you dodge with the uh, the catcher. You do the three plus and then, the, yeah, like that. Yeah, I guess that works too. Almost didn't work. Nice. And now it does. Four <laughs> zero. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I love the new uh, emote uh, of that's, that's gotta, gotta hurt. hurt. Oh yeah. Because it applies in every situation. That's <laughs> true. If you lose a player, ah, oh, that's gotta hurt. If you get scored on, that, that's, that's gotta, gotta hurt. hurt. Exactly. You fail a pickup, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and my favorite part is when they like pushes, reroll pushes, and then you type like that's gotta hurt. Like that's that's good. That, that's uh, top tier. Top tier comedy. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> if you're Baz and you've put your four best players, like, in the back, yep. and then you've scored again, do you wonder what went wrong? Nothing's gone wrong in like, the entire game. It's well, just, Eldril's it, died. Oh, huh? yeah, of course. And, you know, his other catcher, but who cares? He's Wood Elves. True, they come out of the box with catch and dodge and stuff, so he's, yeah. he's replaceable. Let's see. But, I mean, hey. I'm very much looking forward to Bass having like zero gold at the end of the season. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tough. How's this treasury looking right now? He's in this. Yo, he's looking league. fat because he's not lost any players yet. Five hundred and seventy k. Yeah, that's pretty solid. See, there is a problem when my AV seven team loses more players than his AV seven team. That's just not fair. True, the quality. We need to even, exactly. We need to even that out, and luckily yeah, you can do the... something about it. <laughs> he's the commish. He should be giving me gold. 
I'm his division rival. Make it fair. Or something. Alright, we're getting the MRT special here of the one turn. Potentially. Yeah, <laughs> the special. It's gonna be tough with the stand firm tree, so you're gonna go through the lino up top. Yeah, you're blitzing Charles. Because if you're not blitzing Charles, then you're not, you know. Scoring. Yeah. I mean, you could blitz Darren Fells up into your guard and then push him back. I don't know, there's other ways to do it, but yeah, this one makes the most sense. You can push him there. Then you do other things. Doesn't have sidestep, but doesn't have dodge. So you need to get to column 10. Yeah, T. Uh, T fucked it up, but it's fine. Is it? I mean, not yeah. that it matters. Yeah, but like, it's fucked up now. You. Why did he put the ball on the MA8 guy instead of the MA9 guy? Y you're still fucked, T. You, you can't do this. You, you can't do this, T. Like, what? Yeah, I'm trying to f see what kind of thing. I guess if you block Fells into the Blitzer. You have a guy back there to block, but you'd have to fill Maz up the... Maz used dodge, because he's not respecting T. <laughs> I kind of like, want to see him pull this off, though. You have to fill in yeah. the gap right there, and then... No. That's the wrong. You need to put one down. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I was going to say, please both down. That would have been peak comedy. I mean, he's going to fail the dodge here. Or the leap. Or, no, he's going to leap. I know, T. Yeah, I guess exactly. leap is just one roll, so... Oh <laughs> my god, it's just been that kind of game well, for the Jordals. Oh no, Baz going for the salt in the wound. Salt the wound. Strip the flush, salt the wound. Hey, Borderlands 2, good reference. Yes, best co-op game of all time. <laughs> Indubitably. I actually saw you were playing uh, Oblivion the other day. And I've, okay, I've been running a D&D campaign mm -hmm. of the Elder Scrolls series. Right. And I was like, okay, I'm going to pull up Oblivion, I'm going to look at the map, you know, I'm going to look. But I've just been playing it because it's so fun. Oblivion is so awesome. Don't don't at me if you think Skyrim's better than Oblivion. I don't want to hear your lies. Skyrim is obviously a better technical game, and there's improvements with the UI and like switching weapons and the hotkeys and and all that fun stuff. But yeah, Oblivion, it looks so bad. Oblivion is so superior as a game. The Dark yes. Brotherhood questline from Oblivion is yeah. eighteen thousand times better than in Skyrim. The Thieves Guild questline is S tier in Oblivion. Yeah, and the Thieves Guild in Skyrim. Oh, right. That, that's right. It's kind of a joke. It doesn't fucking matter. It's a joke. Yeah. It's Although the joke. armor from the Thieves Guild in Skyrim... It's kind of cool. Is, ...is awesome. But between... Because, you know, I've been looking at the maps because I want to run a campaign in the world and everything. Mm. And one thing I've noticed, the level of, like, complexity in the maps went down from, like, okay... Daggerfall, uh, of course, is like a monstrous game. Right. I'm not comparing it to that, but like Morrowind had a huge map. Then Oblivion had like a really cool map, and then Skyrim is kind of small. I've only played Oblivion and Skyrim, so I can't speak to the others. I mean, Skyrim's it's pretty large. Yeah, it's pretty large, but compared to like, okay, compared to Morrowind. Mm -hmm. it, the there's more empty spaces in the world right like it takes you longer to go from like uh point of interest one to point of interest two well what do you expect when it's a country for the norsemen i mean they're just a bunch of barbaric idiots. also speaking of country for the norsemen uh -oh. i kind of hated the dragon mechanic in skyrim which like, part the entire thing okay um uh, I don't know, it's not something I used a ton, and Baz finally fails something, but it not, obviously doesn't matter. Um, yeah. The only one I used a lot was the Detect Enemies Nearby Dragon Shout, because I was like a stealth character, so I'd use that yeah. constantly in dungeons and just go up and murder people. Fair. But, uh, we'll but... see if MRT can 
you know, take our distraction away from our Skyrim discussion, and he's going to mega block the tree for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna block the tree on turn 16. Oh no, what's gonna happen? The game is still up in the air. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this game's over. I would hope so. <laughs> if there's I a mean, way to score four touchdowns in one turn, I really need to know. <laughs> I need to know for my other games that went wrong. Like, tell me. Uh, you know, when you're down 3-0 against Guru on turn 16, that's when you need to pull up the, uh, the reverse four, card. The four score play. Yeah, there's been discussions. Whoa, whoa. Baz has joined the chat. He must be disqualified. Yep, yep, got to kick me out, right? Yeah, he's learning from, you know, us totally talking about strategy in this game. The entire time. Yeah. Never a doubt. Yeah, um, this was a uh, very... I, I thought the dice were very even. Um, I thought it was a very fair game of Blood Bowl. Hey, I'll say, if the dice weren't that bad, some decisions, however, were... I think T played like crap. His dice didn't help him, but yes, there was a yeah, sure. he could have done better. Like, he but... got punished. Yay, we got a touchdown. Woo! It's not a scoreless game. It's not a total <laughs> route, right? Uh, maybe. So we have our post-game and almost not post-game interview with the winning coach. Baz, any words about how your season's um, going and how you're leading the AFC South currently? Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for things to start going poorly. Hmm. Uh, um, I would like to point out that we got three coaches with new teams in this chat right now. All three in the top Freddy three of their it. conference. Don't right say now. it. Oh, we're jinxed. We're absolutely jinxed the rest of the season. I mean, I did this art before too. Like, and you said yeah. it last time, and then we all won again. It's so. coming. You're just building up to like mega destruction levels. Oh See, yeah, when T wins our div me and Asti's division, <laughs> this part, that can be hilarious. <laughs> oh boy, back from the dead. All right, that's kind of mean. I like it. All right, well, but, thank yeah. you, thank you, Astaflix, for keeping me company during this <laughs> enthralling game. Dash as well. Uh, no, thanks for doing it. I'll take a look at it later. Yeah, don't bother. T tons of strategy talk the entire time. Did not Dude, get off topic you know, once. Do you yeah. know how many? Since I've had to watch you do commentary of my games as everything went wrong. It would be nice to have the shoe on the other foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. the Yeah, yeah. One of the many XCOM curses. All right. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Whoever watched this game now and in the future, uh, we'll get you a more competitive game next time, hopefully. So, <laughs> take care. Game of the week. 4 0. <laughs> Turn 16. <laughs> uh. <laughs>